<laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. D just put yourself in this position. You know, just by looking at him, he has bad breath, right? That's That's a given. But then, like, when he talks, I can just imagine food spits out of his mouth into your face and it, it sticks to your face and <laughs> that's Danny um, how's it going everybody welcome back to another episode of our modded series here I want to give a big thank you to you guys you have been very supportive in this series and it's I've been having a ton of fun with it and uh, it's awesome to see like when <laughs> you guys are addicted to a series and you just can't wait for the next episode I'm I am seeing a lot of that so that makes me pretty happy um, so I got something to show you off the bat here at the start. We have a new building. We kind of started this last episode, but I, I finished it up today. So let's go check out our new tavern or brewery or whatever it is, uh, which is run by a new resident, April. Hello, April. Hello, Ito. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just, I, I just want to point something out. like. These skins, I'm getting, like, they're, they're actually people's skins, like other players' skins. This is, this is the owner of the skin, right? Um, so I go to a website and just browse random skins. And for the girl skins, it's actually really hard to find anything unique. Like, they're all the same, pretty much, just colored differently. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I really like this skin, though. Like, it's pretty, pretty fancy, pretty detailed, but... I had to look through a lot to find it. Um, anyway, so this is our brewery room. Um, pretty happy with how it turned out. So we got the kettle that we set up last time. And we got some jugs of water there. Some crates for storing the grapes. And this is our wall of of goodies that, that April produces. And we have our, our press here. And these are supposed to simulate like... Uh, Simulate or pretend to be might be the better way of saying it. <laughs> uh, the grapes that April has collected and, and stored here and are waiting to be pressed. So these are uh, just leaf blocks with those carpets on. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually just the carpet. The custom flooring from the Mary Culture thing. I took the, the grape texture and put it on there and it actually displays it. So that's pretty cool. Just threw that over top there, and then th these are drying racks over here. Uh huh. And then we got some brew barrels here, and made a bedroom over here, which is still in, still in need of a bit of work, I would say. And then we got like a mix between a leaf roof and like a stone area here, because I actually almost burnt this place down several times while building it, <laughs> so I had to be very careful. Um, and then we got the little garden area here, so pretty happy with this. I think it turned out nicely. So I looked through the comments on last episode, and you guys gave me a lot of great suggestions on what to do with the custom NPC thing. I got no shortage of, shortage of ideas now. <laughs> Lots to do with it, and I'll try to continue to make progress as we uh, go through our series here. Um, it's going to take me a little while to figure some stuff out, though. Like, I played around with it some more today. There's almost no information on it uh, in the on the internet. Like, no examples or anything. So I'm sort of fumbling my way through it. I had April set up today to, like, try to walk around her place here. Like, she would randomly go out to the wine, wine area here, and then she'd go stand by the press and just sort of walk around her place is what I wanted her to do. And then I found out apparently each of these tabs is a separate program that runs. <laughs> so it didn't work. Uh, but I, I learned something new from that. I'm not exactly sure how to declare variables though because um, like if I tell next move to be zero and then I try to minus one from it, uh, it gets set to zero every time this updates. And if I don't declare it, I get an error. So I don't know. I got I got some stuff to figure out with it. Um, but once I get used to it, it'll it'll become easier, and I'll be able to write stuff quickly. 
But uh, with April, I thought a cool job for her might be to turn her into like a juicer. <laughs> um, she's a juicing machine, basically. So I'm going to give her apple apples, and then she will give me apple juice, for example. Because it's actually one of the main foods I eat. And this is how you make it normally. So I got to be kind of careful with any of this trading stuff I do because I could easily abuse it if I if I'm not careful <laughs> I have to set limits to it um, so this seems pretty fair because I can do that in a crafting um, my crafting window here very easily it's more of a convenience thing uh, to make it totally fair though I should probably give her the juicer there so now she has everything that I would use to make the juice right and then I can just click on her and switches out the apples for the juice. Nice and simple. Uh-huh. So I'll, I'll get her to make juice and jams. Because those are the, those are some of the main things I eat currently. All right, everybody. So I do have a goal in mind for today uh, that we're going to try out here. Basically, we're going to try make a mining ship. One of these Archimedes ships that flies around. And we're going to attach some mining gear to it. And hopefully it's cool. <laughs> uh, very, very basic though. Very simple. I, I think this is what we'll try use. The mining well. Because it's cheap. It's very cheap. And I don't have much stuff right now. Uh, basically I'm trying to get into automating things. But to do that I need, I need a lot of stuff. A lot of metals. Particularly I need some blue shiny rocks. Which I have none of. So... How do you make gears? Why do I always forget? That's what I did. Hey, <laughs> was that not what I just did? Uh, yes, yeah, so let's just try, see if we can get one of these working first. And if we can, then we'll boost it to uh, a few more. Let's see. Oh, crafting is boring. Why am I doing crafting on camera? <laughs> Whoops. All right, shouldn't take much longer. Ah, maybe it will. And oh no, the ground's on fire in front of me. All right, we got one. So we got to power this thing. And I do have a little setup here, so I might be able to steal this, or we might need a Sterling engine. But uh, yeah, what we'll do first is just figure out the shape of our aircraft. Was it not? Oh man, I thought I knew that one. Balloon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see what it wanted me to do? It's the exact same thing, except different position. Okay. Almost at it. So let's see. Let's go over here. Um, you guys have been telling me I should make the base out of the balloon blocks. Like, don't, don't do the cobble base like I did there. Make the whole thing balloon blocks so it floats better and faster. So I'm going to lay down a base, and apparently these can be a little bit glitchy with machines, but if I orientate it the same way every time before I dismount or, or turn it back into blocks, I think it might do better, is what you guys have been telling me. And don't use pipes or anything on here, because they don't work qu quite correctly. Um, maybe let's just see... We will throw this, maybe... You know what, let's just try to get one working. So I'll just put it like here. Okay, so we gotta get power. That just digs a one by one hole downward uh, until it hits bedrock or lava or something. So I got a bunch of other stuff put together here and we're gonna try attach these to the ship as well. Can I steal this from the old one? <laughs> we'll probably dismount or dis, uh, disassemble this thing. And we'll just use it on this one. Okay, so this is our flight control. The ship's helm. Alright. So I want that nice and clear. We got a good view as we're flying. We don't want a fence in our face like that one had. <laughs> and uh, we got our steam engine. May as well put those in front. Sure, why not? And I'm going to try to use an energy cell to power this thing. I don't know if that'll work. We want to try to keep this as simple as possible, though. Actually, let's not turn that on right now, <laughs> just in case I'm wrong. Um, let's see if this flies as it is. 
Okay, mount ship. It's looking good. Whoa. <laughs> so let's see, we built it facing this direction. So we always want it to face that direction when we uh, when we uh, dock or land or whatever. All right, so everything's still together here. Yeah, it looks good. Everything still works good. Apparently, you can give this fuel, and then you fly faster. It doesn't seem to use it when we're just uh, stationary, which is good. Uh, we'll probably want more balloons, because it seemed like it was going slow as well, didn't it? Let's see, hopefully that attaches. It should. Let's get some sides going. And I'll uh, I'll probably design this off camera once, once we get it figured out and fine-tune it that way. Okay, reassemble. Let's mount it. Yeah, now we're using up the charcoal. Much faster now. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, let's rise. And we'll try park somewhere and see if we can activate the mining well. Okay, so maybe... That's my cow farm down there. Wave to the cow farm. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've shown that before. But yeah, I did find some cows. They were wandering around and I just made a little pen for them. Okay, let's go over here. This looks like a decent spot. Okay, so we'll park it. Uh, nine to align. Eight to park is my keys. Everything's still good, yes. So I'm going to try activate this. I don't know if it's going to power it. It's not looking like it. No, it doesn't have power. Oh. Okay. This is like build craft power. And let's throw that in. Oh yeah, it takes a lever. Totally forgot about that. I haven't used build craft in so long. Okay, that's running. Oh yeah, it's going down. Awesome. <laughs> it is so slow though. Oh man. Well it's working. Okay, so that's a good that's a good starter test. So let's see if we can like take off now after we've done this. So I'm gonna shut the power off. That is still there. I'm worried it's gonna connect us to the land. Uh, although if we don't assemble it afterwards, it should uh, ignore any new blocks it creates, right? Oh, it says inconsistent. Okay, assemble. Cannot create ship with more than 2,000 blocks. Okay, so it is it is detecting that. I think we can break these though, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we can just break it. Assemble ship. Yeah, yeah it's good. And then, whoa. <laughs> and then we should be able to take off just fine. Yeah, looks good. Cool. How did... Uh Oh man, our cows got free. Who let them out? That block was not there before. Somebody placed a block there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I did not do it. It was one of the mobs. It's either an Enderman or some crazy um, Mo Creatures mob. I don't know. There's a few that can move blocks around. All right, so look at this. Look at the caboose on this thing now. <laughs> we have upgraded it. We have four mining wells now, and I'm going to try it out for the first time. Let's descend a little bit. All right. And... Okay, here's probably good, right? Yeah, let's try this spot. Okay. We got a glass floor now, so we can actually see when it's running. And it turns out I wasn't patient enough with the energy cell. It does seem to work. Uh, if you just wait a bit, it takes a little while to get going. So I'm going to put a new one over here. I upgraded it. Oh yeah, I heard it go already. Woo! <laughs> Two of them went, not all of them. Uh-oh. Oh, I never... There we go. Okay, so it digs down and it fills up the chests. Yeah, we got some ores. Very good. Some tin. Uh-huh. Did it go all the way down? Oh, I see. It hit lava. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the lava from up here. That way you know if, if you hit anything. 
Okay, so then when we want to turn it off, I guess we'll just disable it. Let's go on high. Does it keep taking power even when it's... Oh, it does. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> All right. Now, have not figured out a cutting system to break the wells. I was kind of hoping these things would despawn over time, but I guess they don't. Yeah, maybe I should uh, park it lower to the ground when we do that. Otherwise, i got to jump out and cobble up. But uh, we should be able to just, like, assemble it, mount ship, move over a little bit, and do it again. And this is just, like, for fun, like a little test here. Um, we'll probably build a quarry or something else pretty soon once we get some, some materials. Okay, let's turn it on. I want it to go all the way down to bedrock to see if we get anything decent. Oh. So only two of them went this time. Why is that? Those two didn't activate. I'm not sure. Oh, and we hit lava again, it looks like. Okay, we do have some problems, it seems. I'm not really sure what's wrong. Like, only two of them are getting activated now, which is a bit weird. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. Alright, let's park over here. So, I have a staircase thing to go down now. And I can cut the mining wells when we're, we're done in a spot. Uh, I lowered the power because it was taking up way more than it needed, I think. Yeah, again, we only had two activate for some reason. Okay, and oh, it's still getting stuff. That noise is really annoying. <laughs> Stop, please. Um, yeah, I think that one finished. That one finished. So then, uh, can disable it. Oh, did it run out of power? Oh, it did. Darn it. And then just cut it here and then take off again. But, oh. Ideally, oh, I gotta, I gotta take it all the way down. Otherwise, it connects to the mining uh, pipe. Anyway, <laughs> so that's that's one idea. I might just go to the twilight, honestly, because we can get some ores pretty quickly from there. And this is gonna mess up my terrain if I do it all over the place. Joshua, Joshua Yodin. Oh, it's on. These guys, man, they they don't look very harmful, but they have, like, no knockback, which is actually crazy, because <laughs> they end up backing you up into a corner, and then they just kill you. <laughs> you run out of space to hide. Oh, like that. Oh, man. Okay. Darn it. <laughs> Here, can you... Can you just stay away for a second? I gotta recover. Where's my food? Uh, I think he's recovering health too, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I, I've been killed by these guys before. <laughs> the same way. They are pretty tough. Okay. So now I'm I'm down here looking for a blue shiny rock so that... Ooh, this might be good, actually. Unstable 2, projectile protection 4, unbreaking 3, cool. Yeah, I got this helmet from one of those guys, and it's, it's a pretty good helmet. But I'm down here looking for a blue shiny rock, so that we can go to the twilight with very little success so far. I found one, so we are going to go check out the twilight. Maybe find some ores, if possible. Oh! <laughs> I love that. Alright. So, Twilight should have ordinary terrain generation. I didn't change anything with it. But uh, there has been a lot of changes with the Twilight um, recently, I believe. Like, new new features. Okay, I see some floaty chickens. And terrain generation looks okay. Good. <laughs> Had me worried. Oh, no. Oh, I always do that. I always go right back into the portal. So dumb. Alright. Good, good. Um, 
yeah, I haven't really checked around the twilight too much in my testing, so hopefully it's all good. Got some cicadas in the tree there. Is this a hollow hill? No, it's just a birch forest. Okay. All right, let's go look around a little bit here. I want to see if we can find a hollow hill. Hey. Hey, little guy. Oh, Irvine. This might be good, too. There's so many birds in it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there goes another one. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, man. This guy's trying to fly over. Is he going to make it? Now he's going to fall like a rock. I know it. Oh, he did make it. Okay. <laughs> Why is there so many birds here? Oh! There's two ravines! <laughs> two ravines, not just one. I almost fell down that. Okay. Um, that's one of those Nag Naga? Is that how you say it? Naga places? I think while we're in the twilight, I'm going to make a rule that... Uh, no jetpacks. No jetpacks while we're here. No flying. Uh, because the twilight's sort of designed with no flying in mind. And if you fly, it makes a lot of things really easy. Like the, the Naga fight, for example. I am not going to take this guy on. <laughs> he will wreck me so hard. Um, yeah, I think I want to try that. I've always wanted to do it that way, where you, you don't fly around the twilight. And just see what it's like to play it the way it's intended. You know what? I think this is a biome I've never seen before. This It's dense twilight forest. It's very, very green and lush. I like it. it it's like a normal forest, except you got the tall trees with the, the canopy over top. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice green color. Aha! There we go. That is what we are looking for. This is a hollow hill for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I know that sound. And it's not too big, which is good because uh, I'm not super well equipped. Don't want too crazy of a challenge. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, so it shouldn't be too, too bad, I don't think. Now those guys, Twilight Hunter can't remember if they're poisonous. See, usually I just fly around and these guys never touch me. <laughs> so I don't know really what the risks are. Which is what's going to make this fun. Okay. These guys I know can pack a punch, though. I've, I've messed with them before. The TNT ones are pretty brutal. Alright, why is this chest blown up? Did you do that? Okay, the baby spiders don't really hurt you. Oh, he hurts a lot. Yeah, those guys are pretty tough. Okay. Decent amount of ores in here. It's good. Oh! <laughs> spider, uh, spider jockey. Interesting. Alright. Hidden chest back there. Let's, uh, let's kind of run through and light it up, I suppose. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. There is lava down there. And I'm pretty clumsy today, so I'm not going to take the risk. Oh. Gonna need to heal. I think we just about it got... Just about got it all lit up here. I'm getting dangerously low on HP. Okay, that's it. I think we got it covered. Cool. So I'm going to probably mine this out and uh, get a bunch of stuff, and that way we can start automating things a little bit better. Uh, the thing I'm really interested in... I hope we're safe here. <laughs> the robots, man. These are these are new in Buildcraft, and they can automate a bunch of stuff. And I, I kind of want to try them out. There's a bomber. A bomber robot. But they are a little expensive to get going. And 10 million RF to make one of these. We need the assembly table and... Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit to get those going. But uh, they should be pretty cool. And there's a charging station? Docking station. 
Yeah, we need that as well. But anyway, that's kind of my goal. Uh, or the next goal that we're going to try to tackle. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a second. Before we end it, we got to check out the chest the other two. <laughs> it's kind of uh, one of the fun parts of raiding these things. So you can get some pretty cool loot in these. Bread. Flowers. Oh, yes. Amazing, amazing loot. What's back here? This is the good one. It's hidden. Liver root. Torches. Okay, most of these are pretty junky. <laughs> I have seen better before. Um... What's back here? Oh, it's like goes into a cave system or something. Okay. There's, I think, two or three more chests to check. Ooh, I did it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. And... Maybe not. No, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to collect these ores, and I will see you guys again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.